VPN, or Virtual Private Network, allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the Internet. Another way of saying this is that the VPN gets you through the firewall and into the Nova network. All data traveling between your computer, phone, or tablet, and this VPN server is securely encrypted. Note that using a VPN service does not replace the need for an Internet service provider, as it's your ISP that provides your Internet connection in the first place. VPN technology was originally developed to allow remote workers to securely connect to corporate networks in order to access corporate resources when away from the office. And that's exactly what you're going to use it for today. We are going to install the Nova Cisco VPN client called Cisco AnyConnect in order to access the Nova network so that we can work from home. Specifically, we want to be able to access SharePoint and the full Outlook client instead of having to use the stripped down Internet Outlook. There may be other applications that are specific to your department or role that also require VPN access. The VPN is not accessible from the computers on campus. If you think of the pictures from the previous slide, that would be like trying to get through the firewall when you're already inside the firewall. Can't do it. So to download and install the VPN client and to use the client, you have to be on an off-campus computer. Open Chrome or Firefox, those are the recommended browsers, and go to https forward slash forward slash nvccanyconnect.nvcc.edu. That's nvccanyconnect.nvcc.edu. From there, log in with your LAN username and password. You have to enter your username as nvcc backslash username. Click login. You'll see this screen. It seems like something went wrong, but according to the instructions on the Nova website, this is okay. Just click the Windows desktop link to manually download the installer. You'll see in the lower left corner of the screen the downloaded file. Click on the drop down arrow to see your options and select Open. Click Run. Click Next. Click the End User License Agreement and then click Next. It's ready to go. Click Install. Wait for the installation process to complete. Depending on your computer's security settings, you may see a pop-up like this. If you do, click Yes. It will run, run, run. The whole process took about one minute on my older laptop at home. At this screen, click Finish. And once complete, the pop-up window will disappear and you will be back looking at the original page. Go ahead and close the browser. Once the installer has finished, when you're ready to connect remotely, you need to run the Cisco AnyConnect client. You'll find it in the Windows Start menu. The first time you use it, the address bar will be empty. Type the same address you went to to download the software. That's NVCC anyconnect.nvcc.edu nvccanyconnect.nvcc.edu and click connect. It will tell you it's connecting. Then it will ask for your NVCC credentials. This is your LAN username and password again with NVCC backslash in front of the username. You may be prompted to log in twice. The instructions on the Nova website say that that may happen. They don't say why, just roll with it. Second time's the charm, establishing VPN. And one way to tell that you're connected is to look for this icon in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Cisco AnyConnect eventually automatically times out and disconnects itself after a few hours. But if you want to manually disconnect yourself, just right click on that icon and select disconnect. The next time you want to log in, you won't have to enter the website or your username. Just click on the Cisco AnyConnect program from the Start menu and put in your password once. Once you're logged into the VPN from home, map your computer to your H drive. The only thing you'll need is the path name. You can find it on your computer at work by opening Windows Explorer, expanding Computer, and looking for the H drive. The path is the part between the parentheses that starts with the two backslashes, plus your username. Write this down or take a screenshot. In this example, the path name will be the part between the parentheses, then a backslash, then the username. 
When you get home, connect to the VPN and then map the H drive by opening Windows Explorer, right-clicking on Computer, and selecting Map Network Drive. From the Drive drop-down, select the letter H. In the Folder field, type the path, starting with the two backslashes, backslash, backslash, the part between the parentheses, another backslash, and then the username. Click Reconnect to log on, and then click Finish. If you have shared department or group drives, such as a GE drive, you can connect to them the same way. At work, open Windows Explorer, and write down the path, or take a screenshot. Remember, you need the part between the parentheses, starting with the backslashes, plus the group name. At home, map the drive by right-clicking Computer, selecting Map Network Drive, selecting the drive letter, and then typing in the path name. Backslash, backslash, the part between the parentheses, another backslash, and then the group name. Please remember that your H drive and department drives are for work-related files, not personal files.